Here we shall understand how to find the power passing through a given area using pointing vector. This numerical electric field is given in terms of intensity in free space. It is required to find the average power crossing a circular area of radius 2.5 meters in the plane Z equal to constant. That means the plane is perpendicular to Z axis. It is circular plane. It is perpendicular to Z axis and the plane is held at and some value of z. z is constant, any value, any value. So the direction of the plane is a cap z. So the power passing through this plane is required to, to be found. So the idea is very simple. We have pointing vector P, it is power density watts per meter square. If you integrate for the surface, yes, you'll get power. We shall denote it as W. W is the watt power calculated from P. Suppose if P is uniformly distributed on complete area, then it can be taken as P into area. But in this case, average power is required so how to find average pointing vector first, then you have to multiply it. So you have to think of this here. So first we shall start with average pointing vector that is given by half into m square by eta a cap p. p is the direction of the pointing vector that can be found otherwise can also go with the real part of es cross hs conjugate vector so either one of these two can be used let us check the, the first one that is em square by eta em maximum value given here 50 eta is for free space it is 377 only thing we need to find a cap v a cap is also available here that is positive z direction is the direction of the wave propagation electric field is in x direction so this is the easier one compared to the second one for you. P average half EM maximum value is 50. Intrinsic impedance of the free space is 377. Then direction is a cap z as per the equation cross check once again yeah it is z so this gives directly the value of 3.32 a cap z divides per meter square as average pointing factor so now we'd like to find total power crossing some area. Let us say yes. As I said, it is given by P dot ds. P dot ds. P in this case it is average power because we want average power crossing. So average pointing vector, which is already calculated here, 3.32 a cap z dot area, that is ds. Direction of the area is also positive z. I have just explained here. The plane is held at 
z equal to constant means perpendicular to z axis. This is also a z. 3.32 is a constant value. So a z dot a z is one. So this is simply the multiplication of 3.32 with area. Total area. We can directly use this in regular calculations. 3.32 area here is circular. So pi r square 3.32 pi r value. I think it is 2.5 meters. Let me check on the line. What is the radius? It's 2.5. So this gives us 65.2 watts of average power. So that is the solution. In summary, finding vector gives us power density and power density multiplied with area will give power crossing a particular area.